arresting you on suspicion of the murder of your late wife, Diane You're joking. Stewart. When Ian Stewart's first wife, Diane, died in the garden of her Cambridgeshire home in 2010, it was put down to epilepsy. It would take over a decade to discover the true cause of her death, a cold-blooded murder at the hands of her husband. My wife's had a fear, I think she, she, she thought she's in the garden. In a 999 call made on the day she died, Ian told the operator he found Diane having a seizure after returning home from a supermarket. But suspicion around her sudden death arose seven years later when Ian's fiance, children's author Helen Bailey, was found dead at her Hertfordshire address. Ian Stewart had drugged and suffocated her before dumping her body in a cesspit, all in a plot to get his hands on a four million pound inheritance. He was convicted for Helen's murder in 2017 and jailed for life. Well, on suspicion, on suspicion of the murder of Helen Bailey. And it led police to investigate the circumstances around Diane Stewart's death again. Diane had donated her brain to medical science, and an analysis of its tissue found that her death was most likely caused by a prolonged restriction to her breathing from an outside source. How long have you been um, with Diane before A unanimous verdict at Huntingdon Crown Court now finds the 61-year-old guilty of murder for a second time. He's been handed a full life order, meaning he'll never be released from prison. Ian Stewart had evaded the attention of the police for more than six years. Now he'll be serving his lifelong sentence, not for one murder, but for two.